parade was very Bowie-esque in that it was, you know, emulating like or looking up to Ziggy Stardust. This is kind of Bowie-esque in that he's kind of not. He had a certain point too where he really wasn't playing characters anymore, and I like that. Like um, he was creating personas, but you're really just seeing who he was up on stage. And I think that's what's great about the live shows now is that we're not playing characters, and it's great. We just wanted to have a lot more fun, you know. Uh, we wanted to uh, turn up the color and. and you know, we wanted people to really put it on, you know, put the album on and, and just have a good time, you know, and just learn to stop and smell the roses. To be honest with you, this record, actually, we could do some really interesting thing, interesting things with the, the backgrounds and maybe have panels of comics and have it look like that. I think that'd be super fun. You know, we could, we could definitely play with some visuals this time. You know, some of us write comic books and, you know, and people and, you know, a lot of our friends are in the comic field. So I think that's how that kind of all came full circle where, you know, it was, there was a there was a, a comic book influence element to some of the parts of the album and the videos. The record just has like a, a party vibe. It feels like a party at the end of the world kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, and like in that quote, you know, I'd like to be the band that, that's dancing as the, the bomb goes off, you know.